Maximus Decimus Meridius. There it is. I guess it's, uh, it's the true form of influencing without it being on Instagram, right? There's been so many times where I've watched a movie as a young man and then like walked out of that theater, like Gladiator, for example. It's like when you walk out of there, you just, you are Russell Crowe from Gladiator all of a sudden. Like you just would always like be influenced by the mannerisms and, and just for that moment, I was so influenced by that time travel that you got to uh, in, endure. But you walk out of that movie theater and you just are that character for a little bit. You know, you would go order a burger at McDonald's all of a sudden and be like, I'll have a quarter pounder with cheese, two pickles, father to a murdered bun, husband to a murdered Coke, and I will have my fries. You know, so it's, uh, you're just, I don't know, a, a nerd about it. But yeah, it's the biggest form of influencing for me is uh, movies. I watched Willow, uh, I think it came out in 88. I was about four years old, but I probably watched it around, you know, five or six or something. It's my first memory. I didn't know what I wanted to be when I grew up, but I wanted to be Mad Mardigan, you know, from Willow, the greatest swordsman that ever lived. And I think uh, that's what kind of made me get drawn into, uh, in the, you know, the entertainment industry, because I, I started to realize movies and what they were and these characters, but, uh, yeah, Val Kilmer uh, was such a big inspiration to me, uh, even in Tombstone. You know, when I was in third grade, I saw Tombstone. And even in third grade, I knew Doc Holliday was the coolest thing I'd ever seen on camera. Um, but before that, I got to say my earliest one was, uh, I was Crocodile Dundee when I was a kid, man. I would put uh, Mick on my papers instead of writing my name. Uh, and they thought I had some uh, mental deficiencies for doing that. But I just, in my mind, I was Crocodile Dundee, Mick Dundee. So I was like... That'll be me, my name now. I'm Mick, not Tanner. So no, that's not a knife. This is a knife. It's not so much a feeling, but it's like a state of mind, uh, or just like a just it's just a charming thing that goes on in, in your mind. But dazed and confused is just so effortless in its you know composition. And it's just such an interesting film, but it, it just almost seems more like a deeper way of filming a documentary, you know, for that time. That is such a, a portal to what I feel like is, is Texas high school in the 70s. And it's not even like, you know, my favorite movie or anything like that. But man, what a, what a movie that just absolutely, you know, if it's on TV, I'm always, you know, stopping to watch mm -hmm. that, you know. But... I don't know. I, I'll just leave it at that because we could talk movies all day and I know this is only a two-minute video. So. <laughs> I think that's my favorite. You know, it's funny. I remember there was this uh, thing, speaking of Instagram, there was this thing on Instagram and it's like, which three movie characters describe you? And I remember mine was uh, like Chevy Chase from Christmas Vacation. Jeff Bridges from The Big Lebowski, The Dude, and like John Wayne. But I threw in two more also, like Wiley Coyote and uh, Eric Cartman. So I'm like all five of those mixed in a bowl and blended up, and they call it Tanner Beard, I think. To be just the most pretentious answer ever, I'll just take all five of those characters and I'll just be that. <laughs> Let's it. get any more Eric Cartman every day. It's easy. It's um, The Last of the Mohicans, you know, uh, that, that soundtrack is, everybody's mimicked it, but it, it, what it does for the last scene of that movie, the last like 10 minutes of that movie, that total overture is just, just flawless. You know what I mean? The do -do 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 it's just so good and been so mimicked over time, but that is, uh, I don't know if it's the best soundtrack on the planet, but in a, in a scene, if you had to go pound for pound, which composition of a scene impacted a movie the most, it's, it's arguable that it's not Last of the Mohicans. Smoke bomb. 